Good morning. Let us all please stand. Let's take this moment as we greet one another at our celebration of the Holy Mass. Today we celebrate Thursday in the seventh week of our season of Easter. And our opening hymn is number 593, Be Not Afraid. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal a contrite of heart. You came to call sinners. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some, some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, my brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, we find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound the following night, 
the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O oh God. God, you, you are, are my hope. hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O oh God. God, you, you are, are my hope. hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices my body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O oh God. God. You, you are, are my hope. hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe oh God. O God. You, you are, are my, my hope. hope. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think it's no surprise to say that we live in an age and a time and a culture and a world of great division. I don't think it's any surprise to any of us to hear that. We see this division on the world stage with nations fighting against one another, 
with nations waging war against one another. We see this division culturally, politically, in our own nation. We see this division among leaders, even in the church. We see division even in our own families sometimes, especially when it comes to faith, especially when so many young people are straying away from God, from the church. I've heard uh, some people say that in their whole lifetimes, they've never seen such a divided or divisive time in our nation or in our world, their whole lifetimes. And in the midst of this division, Jesus wants to speak a word, the words that we hear in today's gospel. I pray, Father, that they may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be in us, that they may be one. In the midst of such division, those words seem like an impossibility. How can we ever be one as a family, as a church, as a nation, as a world? Impossible. And yet, these are the words that Jesus offers to the Father in his last prayer, that they may all be one. If this Jesus was Jesus' last prayer to the Father, that we as his disciples are also called to unite our prayers with his. Our prayer today in union with Jesus in today's gospel is for oneness and unity in our families, in our church, in our culture, and in the wider world. So as we reflect on these readings today, and as we prepare to receive Jesus himself in the Eucharist and we become one with him, I'd like to invite us, especially as we receive communion, to unite our prayer with the prayer of Jesus. Father, that we may all be one, even as I am in you and you are in me. Let us now stand as we lift up our prayers to our Heavenly Father, especially for the gift of unity. That all members of the church may be one in heart and mind in union with our Pope and our bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the world may believe in Christ by the united example of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those baptized in Christ may be brought into the visible, visible unity of the one church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each family may be made one in faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be called to perfect union with God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Sabria Madarang and the eternal repose of Piedad Gutierrez. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for Pat Hassett, Tita Lagman, Monsignor Josefino Ramirez, Dr. Luisa P. Estrada, Phyllis Soloy, and the Rodriguez family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our sick and those who are in need of healing and strength. Salvador Vaca, Michael and Kay Boland, 
Milton Tennant, Lino Proto Martyr, Roger Inson Jr., Amparo Benitez, Dastur Family, and Isagani and Sosima Salvacion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the eternal repose of Dolores Belmonte, Roger Luis, Benildo Loyola, Philip Thomas, and Marcelino Leonides. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Take a moment of silence as we lift up to the Lord the prayers and intentions of our own heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, send us the gift of your Holy Spirit that we may be one, even as you and the Son and the Spirit are one. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart, we make sacrifice, O Lord, and our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sun celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, 
qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On you stay, qui toli specata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toli specata mundi, Miserere nobis, agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. The body of Christ. We now pray our prayer of spiritual communion in union with our brothers and sisters online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's turn now to Mary, our mother, as we ask her prayers and intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 597, O God, You Search Me. O God, You search me and You know me. All my thoughts lie open to Your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me. Ever the maker and keeper of my days. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. And with love everlasting you beseech me In every moment of life or death you are